Hey, look who's back. Yes, it's Chris the Cop, your favorite police officer. I'm with Gameology today with another episode of Experts React. What am I reacting to? Well, little COD, Modern Warfare 2, the prison break scenario. Let's jump into this. Don't move. I just love this game as far as this, well, the whole story, but it's so epic. Ghost, you're alive. Affirmative. The graphics are killer. That's, I think that's what that helps drive the game. It's just almost as if you were watching a movie. That's the part about it. The storyline's awesome. The, the acting is awesome. I mean, and then, you know, if you know Spanish, you're, you know, the, they're, they're talking proper Spanish. The makers of this game are just, they're just killing it. I haven't gotten this far. I'm actually playing this right now. I haven't gotten this far. So this will be a little bit of a spoiler, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> It'll help me at least uh, maybe succeed on my first time trying. It's well stuck. All right. My man. We're going to need new wheels. Preferably up armored. And what I love about the mar uh, this, this game too is it's just so Hollywood. I mean, it's like... Everything is just like so epic and over the top, you know, like the lights right now, you know, instead of they all just go on at one time, like normal lights do in, <laughs> in our houses, right? So it is kind of neat. But what I say is that, yeah, that's how we do our, our tactical planning is we uh, get our magazines out of our couches and throw a bunch of bullets on the map and, uh, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> You know what I always want to know is if people truly believe this is what we do. It just is, they think that we sit around planning stuff like this, I, or, you know, it's quite funny because it, they would really probably be surprised to learn how simplistic planning really is, you know, that we don't, you know, we plan, but it's just a little bit more simplistic. All right, good old prison break. Now, the one thing I do like to point out on this is that the one thing the game does not capture is the amount of weight that this gear weighs i never knew how much i weighed with all my gear on my full kit what we call full kit so i weighed myself one time and i found out my kit was 60 pounds there are operators who have to carry a lot more equipment than i ever did and i can only imagine their kit being probably about a good 75 to 80 pounds of extra weight i'd have to really see the distance i don't know if that's a shot and we take from that distance and with that gun i, I in fact i wasn't even paying attention to it but it was a sniper gun that's definitely what you're going to want to have as a sniper a sniper rifle would be able to take someone out at that distance for sure but the thing is, too, is that a lot of snipers are specially trained. They do a lot of special training. Our prime example is the snipers uh, at, that were attached to my team. They would train with the SWAT team, but then they have their own training day where all they would do is sniper stuff. So that's the that's the big difference is that they're ready for this stuff. And the stuff I would see them do was this phenomenon. I mean, these guys would put a target on the balloon and then shoot it in the air. Even with the balloon and the wind moving, it was like, wow. I mean, these guys can shoot. Yeah, you know, I think that weapon right there, that's a, that's a, that's a fairly realistic dis distance. Now, that is the one part about this game is it's very violent. People uh, are not being knocked out. They're just being executed. I guess that's what happens to the enemy, right? I could say this, too, that is in all the years of me being on a tactical team, I don't really recall running all that much. We do a really deliberate walk, but running with all that stuff is kind of difficult. Oh, you so. Check fire up top. Keep us quiet. Aye. Up. Copy. Behind you. I mean, you gotta be a bad <laughs> to be able to hold on to that thing and go up the rope and still have your hand on a weapon. You just gotta be an utter bad. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't think so. I mean, for me, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd be like, I'd fall after five feet. But don't, like I said, don't get me wrong. I'm. I'm not a very big critic when it comes to game and the gameplay because it's a game. It has to be entertaining. People have to want to play it. And, you know, that's the reason why some of its stuff is, uh, is uh, not realistic. But if, if you made it realistic, kind of like well, you know, some of the games that I've uh, talked about in the past on Gameology, if you made the games realistic, people wouldn't want to play them. Like the weapons. People always talk about, well, these weapons wouldn't be realistic. Well, yeah, you're right. But people want to try new weapons in the game. They want to try weapons that, they, that wouldn't otherwise be there. So you, you got to give them that. So like this, this type of mission, I would definitely make sure that, you know, we'd all have to make sure we have suppressors because you want to be as quiet as possible. The thing with the suppressor does, it, it doesn't take away all the sound. It just minimizes the sound quite a bit. So it's not as loud. But if you were near someone that was 
you know, firing, you would definitely hear it. Now, even though I have not played this mission yet, this is what I can guarantee you ahead of time that as quiet as they are right now, this is going to get very loud and it's going to be the run for their lives because that's how these devs build these missions. It's like start off very quiet, it gets chaotic, and then it is the loud exit. So let's see if that happens in this. I would, I'm going to be, be very curious to see if that happens. Well, amigo, Alejandro would have come for us. Let me take the 80 pound backpack. God, that would be so heavy. <laughs> oh my God, so violent. <laughs> I thought they were actually going to knock him out, but they did it. And see, here we go. Here's the loud. Everyone knows we're here now. Yeah, that's what I like too about this is that if you burn through a magazine like that, it's that fast. You can actually, it's sec, you know, Three seconds, you've already burned through a uh, 30 round magazine. So that part is, you know, really realistic as well. So, throw whatever you got at them. Use the puta. Kill everything that moves. Nice. Because that's what we all care is a Molotov cocktail on us at all times. So the interesting part, I, I would wonder what a military operator would carry as far as the number of magazines. Because I know, like, for us, it's usually one in the uh, one in the rifle and then three on the vest. I only did two on the vest, but that's because you know of uh, what my mission was. But some people do three on the vest. But if you think about how many times this guy has already changed magazines, it uh, you know it just goes to show you that I mean he's I think he's what that five six magazine changes at, at minimal. How much should they really carry? That's one of the questions like I that I would have. I'm sure a lot. I'm sure a lot. And the one thing too about especially special ops is that they've trained so well they're great on shooting on the move and um just this what they can do regarding their missions is is just phenomenal that's why you always see these things where you hear these stories where four or five operators who were able to take out you know a significant force i mean that that just goes based upon their training and the equipment that they're carrying it's just phenomenal to uh when you hear about stories like that i would think though in an operation like this once again i could be wrong is uh they would have a couple more operators go with them once again i have i don't know the storyline i mean I, I just started playing this so but if this was like a real like i think military operation they probably would have you know whatever amount would be on the seal team or ranger team whichever i once again i'm not gonna pretend to know who does what i just know you know obviously the seals do a, quite a bit of rescues and stuff like that but uh I don't know how many people would be in on that but so i think what well, we started off with two maybe four like two of our old guys and then two we picked up two now it's five trying to make their way out but eventually i think they got to get to this vehicle and uh they'll do a running gun or a driving gun battle but let's see i'm gonna say that the the probably like the firefight has i mean i i i would say venture to say that a lot of, of the firefights such as this has definitely happened to you know to uh definitely people in uh, our military you know especially you know given the last 20 years um that's why I'm just kind of curious as to the amount of what they would carry on on their kits. You know, how many how many frag grenades they would carry, how many you know magazines they would carry, all those type of things. Because once again, you know, talking to a couple of my friends that were stationed over, you know, in Afghanistan, Iraq. I mean, the weather out there. They they said the gear that they would carry, and and they got to think about their, the plates that are on their vests and all this type of stuff. It was just like so much gear. But yeah, I'm real, I, I would be really curious to sit down. I never really asked him. I, I think next time I bump into one of my buddies, I'm going to ask them uh, about uh, what type of stuff that they carried on their full kit and how many magazines. I'm kind of curious on how many magazines, quite frankly. And, I, and once again, I, I'm going to say like a scenario like this, I'm sure something like this has happened where our spy intelligence committee has done some type of rescues like this. And uh, those are, these will be the stories that we never, ever hear about. I'd have to believe that some of it has happened. Once again, like I say, is that you you got to have stuff like this in the game to have great gameplay because people will want to play it. So I, I, I will definitely give it the... Uh, I would say like COD is pretty much more of a, a Hollywood style game as opposed to uh, some of the other like tactical shooters that you could play that are just a little bit more realistic. But once again, I, I love playing this game. So... Oh yeah, a little grenade launcher. Now we actually in law enforcement use something like that, but not with grenades with uh, what we call a 40 millimeter grenade actually. And it's just a foam projectile that 
you could shoot at the suspect who's not compliant. It really knocks the wind out of them. But that's considered a multi-launcher. Those are definitely used in civilian law enforcement. Gameplay, is, their gameplay is not bad. I mean, a lot better than my gameplay would be. Follow Gameology on both YouTube and Facebook because they're constantly upgrading and updating new content for us. And if you want more of me, well, just come on over to my channel, Chris DeCott. All right, everyone, until next time, peace.